to God for giving us this special day, the outpouring of the Holy Spirit on Pentecost Sunday. We want to commit all our intentions to the Holy Spirit, to the Father, to
through Jesus Christ. We pray for all celebrate their birthdays, various anniversaries, thanking God on various occasions. We pray for the healing of the sick. We pray for strength and direction on our Christian journey. We pray for our beloved country, Ghana, and the world against the COVID-19 pandemic. Shall we be in a moment of silence, commit our personal and private intentions to God? The Spirit of the Lord has filled the whole world, and that which contains all things understands what is said. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Beloved in Christ, in St. Paul's letter to the Corinthians, part of our second reading for today, he says, No one can say Jesus is Lord unless he is under the influence of the Holy Spirit. We are what we are because of the Holy Spirit. We have become what we have become because of the power of the Holy Spirit. It's the Spirit that enables us, the Spirit that encourages us, the Spirit that strengthens and directs us on our Christian journey to be good Christians in relation to Christ and children of God. So as we gather this morning, let us invite the Holy Spirit to remind us of our sins, to convict us and to enable us to feel sorry and ask for God's forgiveness as we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my, my brothers and sisters, and sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen.
Glory to God, glory to God, glory to the Father. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to the Father. To Him be glory forever, to Him be glory forever. Hallelujah, amen, hallelujah, amen, hallelujah. family and for our country Ghana. O oh God, who by the mystery of today's great feasts sanctify your whole church in every people and nation, pour out, we pray, the gifts of the Holy Spirit across the face of the earth and with the divine grace that was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed, fill down once more the hearts of all believers. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place. And suddenly, a sound came from heaven like the rush of a mighty wind. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared to them tongues as of fire, distributed and resting on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Now there were dwelling in Jerusalem Jews, devout men from every nation under heaven. And at this sound, the multitude came together and they were bewildered. Because each one heard them speaking in his own language. And they were amazed and wondered, saying, Are not all these who are speaking Galileans? And how is it that we hear each of us in his own 
native language. Parthians and Medes and Elamites and resident of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the part of Libya belonging to Cyrene and visitors from Rome, both Jews and proselytes, Cretans and Arabians. We hear them telling in our own tongues the mighty works of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, send forth your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send forth your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, how great you are. How many are your works, O Lord? The earth is full of your creatures. Send forth your spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. You take away their breath, they die. Returning to the dust from which they came, you send forth your spirit, and they are created. And you renew the face of the earth. Send forth your spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord last forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. May my tongue be pleasing to him. I will rejoice in the Lord. Send forth your spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. Second reading, a reading from the first letter. No one, Jesus is Lord, except by the Holy Spirit. Now, there are varieties of gifts, but the same Spirit. There are varieties of service but the same lord and there are varieties of working but it is the same god who inspires them all in every one to each is given the manifestation of the spirit for the common good for just as the body is one and as one members and all the members of the body though many are one body so it is with Christ. For by one spirit we were all baptized into one body, Jews or Greeks, slaves or free, and all were made to drink of one spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be Spirit, and from right on man the rays of your life. Come, Father of the poor. Come, giver of God's gifts. Come, light of men's hearts. Kindly paraclete in your gracious visit to man's soul. You bring relief and consolation. If it is weary with toil, you bring it ease. In the heat of temptation, your grace cools it. If sorrowful, your words console it. Light most blessed, shine on the heart of your faithful, even into their darkest corners. For without your aid, man can do nothing good, and everything is sinful. Wash clean the sinful soul, rain down your grace on the parched soul, and heal the injured soul, soften the hard hearts, cherish 
and warm the ice cold hearts and give direction to the wayward. Give your seven holy gifts. For their virtuous acts, give them a death that ensures salvation. Give them bliss. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Kindle in them the fire of your love. The Lord be with you and the way your spirit a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John glory be to you O Lord On the evening of that day, the first day of the week, the doors being shut where the disciples were, for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood amongst them and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, even so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. If you retain the sins of any, they are forgiven retained the gospel of the lord praise, praise to you lord, lord jesus christ, christ.
My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, I want to thank God for this day, Pentecost Day. I want to sing this song as a prayer. And I want you to sing this song, meditating on the words, and make it a prayer for yourself. Basically, today, all I want to do is to say to God, fill me with the Holy Spirit. So today our prayer is that the Lord should fill us with the Holy Spirit. That you shall be filled with the Holy Spirit. That I will be filled with the Holy Spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today's readings point to that that we should be filled with the holy spirit in the gospel reading of today jesus says receive the holy spirit he breathes on them in the second reading we are told that no one can say jesus is lord unless they are under the influence of the holy spirit in the first reading we are told the holy spirit descended there was a wind and the whole house was filled and they were filled with the holy spirit but something is very interesting the first thing we learn from the readings of today is that the disciples waited for the promise from on high they waited for the promise from on high the power from on high the promise of the father and this promise is the holy spirit they waited how did they wait they waited in patience because they were not told the holy spirit was going to come the first day or the second day or the third day or the fourth day but they were waiting and they knew that jesus had promised and when he promises he never fails so if he says go and wait they will wait and they waited and waited until nine days passed and then on the third day God rains down the spirit upon them. They waited in patience. Anytime you are waiting, you must wait in patience. The characteristic of the waiting of the Christian is patience. 
You must wait in patience because God knows the best timing and God knows how best to accomplish once what he wants to accomplish. So you must wait in patience. And when the time had come, God chose the perfect timing. Perfect timing. When it was the feast of Pentecost, when everybody was coming to Jerusalem, and when Jerusalem was filled with people from Cappadocia, from Phrygia, from Pamphylia, from Egypt, from the regions of Cappadocia, eh, all these places had come. Then God decided to turn the attention of everybody to one window. Because the time had come. When they had patiently waited and God's timing or period had been fulfilled, God decided to turn everybody's attention to them. So now they come out and everybody is looking at where the wind is going to. And the wind goes to that window, fills that household and everybody is watching to see what will come out of there. My dear brother, my dear sister, when you wait in patience for the time of the Lord and that time is fulfilled, everyone will turn their attention to see what God has done for you. That is when you will sing. Come and see, oh, come and see. Come and see, oh, come and see. Oh, come and see. All the Lord has done. Come and see what the Lord has done. Come and see what the Lord has done. Come and see what the Lord has done. So wait, wait patiently on the Lord. Because in his own time, when the time is fulfilled, when he wants to accomplish his purpose in your life, everybody will stop and look at you. Those who passed by you before will pass by you again, but they will come back and watch you again. Hey, what is happening? The whole world turned their attention to that house because God had decided that it was time and the church must be outdoored. And when they came out, they looked at them and listened to them. It is you who have the microphone at that point and everybody will listen to you loudly because God had decided this is the time. But the second thing about their waiting was that they did not wait in inactivity. They waited in activity. They waited in prayer. There were people locked up but locked up in prayer and they were praying that the power from on high will come upon them. Nine days they were praying when you wait and you wait in patience may it never be in inactivity it must be in the activity of prayer a christian does not just wait in idleness so you are going to pick a bus you sit down you're waiting for the car to come and you're just sitting down if you're a christian at that point you must be at prayer you are going for an interview everybody is seated you are seated it is not your turn. When you are waiting, you must wait in prayer. You are about to pick your plane. You are waiting for, is it boarding pass or so? <laughs> uh, they, they call you to your gate. And you are just waiting. Idleness. Watching people all around. A Christian must wait in prayer. You are waiting for marriage. You are waiting for a child. You are pregnant. You think it will come by itself. People get miscarriages. You must wait in prayer. The apostles, when they were waiting patiently, were waiting in prayer. Every Christian who waits on God for something must wait in prayer. I pray that your life will be like that. Amen. That any time you are waiting, you are waiting in prayer. The disciples Amen. waited nine days. They didn't know when the Spirit was going to come. They knew Jesus had promised. And if he had promised, he would fulfill it. They waited in activity. They waited in prayer. Now, the second thing that I want to pick from the readings of today is what I mentioned earlier. We are told the wind filled the house where they were and something like tongues of fire was upon their heads. But what I'm interested in is that he says, and they were filled with the Holy Spirit. 
Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, verse 4. But I like the way St. Paul puts it in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 18, when he says, be filled with the Holy Spirit. He says, do not be intoxicated with wine. That is debauchery. But be filled with the Holy Spirit. What does it mean? Be filled with the Holy Spirit. Now, the word he uses there is pleruste in Greek. From the verb plerou, which means be filled. But the tense there is a present imperative. It is an imperative. There is no Christian who can be a Christian without the Holy Spirit. It is a command. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. Every Christian cannot do without the Holy Spirit. So every Christian must be filled with the Holy Spirit. But it is in the present imperative tense. Which means the filling with the Holy Spirit is not once and for all. It must be something that must keep happening every day. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. In fact, if you look at the lives of the apostles in the Acts of the Apostles, you will see that it looked like on a number of occasions they were filled with the Holy Spirit. So in chapter 2, like we have read today, the house was filled and they were filled with the Holy Spirit. In chapter 4, when Peter and John had been brought before the Sahindrin and they had been taken from there and they had gone back when they were released to their own people, they told them about what had happened to them. They all prayed to God to grant them the courage to continue to preach the word of God even though there are threats against their lives. Then the scripture says in verse 31 of chapter 4, they prayed. The place where they were shook and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. Again, so Acts of the Apostles gives us evidence that it is not a once and for all dramatic event but it is an event that keeps happening to the Christian every time you keep being filled with the Holy Spirit so what St. Paul is saying is that keep being filled with the Holy Spirit never cease to be filled with the Holy Spirit and the way he puts it suggests that you are not filling yourself with the Holy Spirit it is God who is filling you with the Holy Spirit. So, Jesus says in the gospel, receive the Holy Spirit. Now, the way he puts it, do not be intoxicated with wine, but be filled with the Holy Spirit. It's as if he is saying, do not be drunk with wine, but be drunk with the Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen. He wants you to be filled with the Holy Spirit like somebody is drunk with or how did they say it? Akpeteshi. Akpeteshi. Or what? Castle Bridge. Or what? Uh, the way the boys are mentioning it here. <laughs> I am afraid. Father Gosu, are we safe? So, it's as if he's saying, do not be filled with alcoholic spirits, but be filled with the Holy Spirit. He's making a setting analogy there that the way you must be filled with the Holy Spirit is almost like the way somebody is drunk with alcohol. It's interesting what he's saying. So, what St. Paul is saying is not like we pour water in a cup. No. When we say fill the cup, we say pour water in the cup. So, you pour water in the cup and the water is sitting in the cup not doing anything to the cup. That is not what he's saying. The verb pleroo has some implications, three of them, and I want to run through them. The first one for pleroo is a force. It is pressure. It is impetus. Force. Pressure. Impetus. So that which fills you, moves you with a force. It gives you impetus. It gives you pressure. It is just like when the boat or so is sailing on the sea and it has a sail. It is the wind that puts pressure on the sail and moves it. So when he says, be filled with the Holy Spirit, what he's saying is that be filled with that power, be filled with that pressure, be filled with that impetus, be filled with that force that gives you courage. To fearlessly move. 
sometimes people say that what I want to say, I cannot say it well unless I take a thought. Or I take quarter. Or I take half. Now what they are saying is that when they are moved by the spirit of the alcohol, they can do fearlessly what they would have done fearfully if they were not under that influence. Now what St. Paul seems to be saying is that be so drunk with the Holy Spirit that it pushes you, it moves you to action. So be filled with the Holy Spirit here means a force that is in you, but not just sitting in you, but propelling you. It is carrying you along. That is why the disciples who had locked themselves for fear of the Jews, the scripture says in the gospel reading of today they had locked up themselves and if they feared the jews they themselves i usually say would have locked the door what we call crack cro or so he puts it inside padlock there if possible a boat <laughs> the, the 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 wooden thing that they put at the back there if possible they'll pack blocks blocks at the back for fear of the jews because even jesus was arrested how much more them now when the spirit had filled them nobody broke it open all they themselves because they were moved by that force of the holy spirit they moved out and began to speak and peter in acts of the apostles chapter 2 will speak fearlessly meanwhile peter before now before a slave girl could not say that i know jesus I pray that the Holy Spirit will fill you in that way. Amen. That the force will move you out Amen. of your comfort zone. Too many of us are sitting idle, even though the Spirit is in us. It should not be so. There must be a force that is propelling you. There must be a force that is pushing you. No wonder at, the, at some point in Acts of the Apostles chapter 2, the people who were listening thought that these people are drunk. St. Paul says, do not be intoxicated with wine, but be filled with the Holy Spirit. Now, just close your eyes and make this prayer with me. God our Father, God our Father, fill me with the Holy Spirit. Fill me with the Holy Spirit. Let the force of the Holy Spirit let the force of the holy spirit let the pressure of the holy spirit let the pressure of the holy spirit carry me along carry me along carry me along carry me along amen amen the second implication of that verb plero is domination so the thing does not only push you it dominates you it takes control of you and it directs you it is just like when you are angry, your anger can make you do things. Your anger can make you say things. Very related to the first one. But this one is about control. The thing is this. The Holy Spirit accomplishes much in the believer. If the believer yields much. If the believer gives up control. Then the Holy Spirit takes control. And the Holy Spirit begins to control the believer. So, where you go is controlled by the Holy Spirit. What you say is controlled by the Holy Spirit. The things you do, controlled by the Holy Spirit. The decisions you make, controlled by the Holy Spirit. Even what you will wear, what you will eat, where you will go, and when you will go, controlled by the Holy Spirit. When somebody is filled with fear, it affects the way they behave. When somebody is filled with anger, it affects the way they behave. When somebody is filled with joy, it affects the way they behave. Herod was filled with joy and promised something very stupid. Oh, ask for anything. And then when the child said, I want the head of John the Baptist, then now he was sad. So under such influence, you can be directed to do just anything. But he says, do not be under such influence. But be under the influence of the Holy Spirit. Be directed by this. You see how the person who is drunk is moving and Charlie, how to even step on the ground is not easy. Because while his foot is on the ground, it looks as if the ground is so far from his foot. And when he's moving from one side to another, you are saying easy, but Charlie, the movement is not controlled by the person himself. It is the Holy Spirit that is in control. 
Now, look at what happens in Acts of the Apostles chapter 15. When there was a problem with circumcision and they came back to Jerusalem, we are told that a letter was written back to the church and in it they said, it has pleased the Holy Spirit and it has pleased us not to put any bad thing upon you. The disciples were making a decision and it looked like they made the decision in consultation with the Holy Spirit. I don't know what decision you are about to make. I don't know what direction you want to go. You must seek the guidance of the holy spirit yield control give up control to the holy spirit and he will direct you they had to make a decision you want to make a decision which job to choose there are two three opportunities it is not just about looking at the money the face of it when lot was about to choose he looked at the jordan plains the place looked nice and then he chose there and abraham said i will choose anywhere if you choose the other side and he chose there and then the scripture says where they chose was close to sodom wrong meat so if you want to make a choice rely on the holy spirit in chapter 16 of the acts of the apostles saint paul wanted to go to asia but he was moved not to go to asia but to go to cappadocia so saint paul himself was directed by the holy spirit and he was asked go to macedonia don't go to asia you want to go somewhere maybe this is not the time the holy spirit will tell you this is not the time i don't know whether you have experienced that sometimes you really feel like going somewhere but everything is making it impossible for you to go somewhere because you are praying that god should, should show you the way he should lead you there and then you are crying huh? god why are you not leading me here when i have told you to lead me there if only you knew why the holy spirit is stalling if you yield control the holy spirit will use you if you yield control the holy spirit will direct you if you yield control the gifts of the holy spirit will work in you because he is the one who will continue to use you for his glory and he says in the second reading of today that all the gifts that are given to us are from the same spirit and they are for building up the community so you have your gift you have put it in your pocket you have zipped it you have padlock on it you don't use it the lord says he will take it from you and give it to the one who has because you are not using it but whatever gift you have must be used to build up the community and if you yield control to the holy spirit the holy spirit will use you he will dominate you he will take control and he will direct you you know when the sail is being pushed by the air or the wind there is somebody in the ship who is directing the way the ship should go even though the ship is moving the same way the first point the holy spirit will move you but the second point the holy spirit will direct the movement so that it is purposeful movement i want you to just close your eyes and make this prayer with me again father almighty father almighty fill me with the holy spirit fill me with the holy spirit let the spirit use me let the spirit use me let the spirit take absolute control let the spirit take absolute control and direct me and direct me for your glory for your glory amen amen the last one and i love this one it says the verb plero also means permeation so the thing doesn't just enter and sit the thing permeates every corner of what it occupies so like you have water and you put sugar in it and you stay so it permeates every part of the water so you have a sugar solution or salt solution when you drink it you will taste something so the holy spirit is supposed to be in us in such a way that it has permeated every part of our being so that wherever we go people can smell the holy spirit on us whatever we do people can see that ah, there is something they can taste the holy spirit in us i remember when we were just ordained and we're not allowed to drive we had some people who drive us and one of the drivers I had, wow, he could get 
really intoxicated with wine. But because he knew I didn't like it and I talked him out of it, at the point reluctantly he doesn't do it. But I realized that it looks like he doesn't do it only when he has to drive me. So one day I went to the cathedral. And then when we were about to leave the cathedral, somebody called me. Come, 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 Father. Ah, don't you realize that the, the guy is drunk? He's driving you. I said, oh, don't worry. In fact, today he's not drunk. I'm sure he drank yesterday. But it is still smelling on him. Because when he's drunk, I will see that he's drunk. If you know those who really get intoxicated with wine, you will see that their appearance shows it. They drink angaza. It's not the kind of thing that some people do. This one, real drinking. The kind of drinking that when you drink and you have fufu and soup to eat, you can wash your hand with the, the garnet soup or the light soup or the palm nut soup. And when you finish, you take the fufu and you dip it into the water and you enjoy it. In fact, you enjoy it. You don't realize there is a difference. Such people, when you see them, it, it looks like they are drunk already. And it smells on them. You can smell it. Even when they are not drunk for a few days because they are used to it, it smells on them. It says, that is how we must smell the Holy Spirit on us. When you go anywhere, people must see that there is something different about this person. And Galatians will tell us in 5, 22 to 23, when you go somewhere, people must see joy. You're always happy and you make people happy. They must see peace. You don't create confusion. Some people, they're happy. Hey, the way they are there come, when I get there, oh, I'll scatter all of them. There'll be confusion, right? And you are happy. You say you're a Christian filled with the Holy Spirit. He says patience. People who are calm, they have patience for others. He says kindness. They are filled with kindness. They are filled with self-control. Even when they feel like insulting you, you see that their veins are coming out like that and yet they are able to control themselves. These people are filled with the Holy Spirit and they are manifesting the fruits of the Holy Spirit and it smells on them. People who encounter them can taste the Holy Spirit. I pray that the Holy Spirit will permeate you like that. Amen. That wherever you go, people will smell it on you. People can taste you and taste something different. They taste the Holy Spirit. Just make this prayer with me. Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. I open up myself. I open up myself. Fill me with the Holy Spirit. Fill me with the Holy Spirit. Let the Holy Spirit. Let the Holy Spirit. Permeate every part of my being. Permeate every part of my being. And wherever I go. And wherever I go. May people taste the Spirit. May people taste the spirit. May people see the spirit. May people see the spirit. May people smell the spirit. May people smell the spirit. May people encounter the spirit. May people encounter the spirit. Amen. 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 Now I want us to sing the song we sang at the beginning. And this time I want you to mean it. Eh? You are asking the Lord to fill you with the Holy Spirit. Not just that the Spirit should come and sit, but that the Spirit should with pressure push you, move you. That the spirit should take control, should take control of every aspect of your life, but also that the Holy Spirit should permeate every part of your being, every corner, everywhere, so that He smells on you. Sing it with us.
the Holy Spirit to direct us in our profession of faith. Do you believe? Oh yes, I believe in the Father and the Son. I believe in the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Yes, I believe. Mighty Father, I believe. Do you believe? Yes, I believe. Lord and maker of all things, do you believe? Yes, I believe. I believe in Jesus Christ, do you believe? Yes, I believe. Everlasting Son of God, do you believe? Yes, I believe. Do you believe? Oh, yes, I believe in the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Yes, I do. You believe? Oh, yes, I believe in the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Yes, I believe. Deeper in the Father's part, do you believe? Yes, I believe. To him all things were made. Do you believe? Yes, I believe. He is those who save us all. Do you believe? Yes, I believe. And from heaven come to earth. Do you believe? Yes, I believe. Do you believe? Oh, yes, I believe. In the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Yes, I believe. Do you believe? Oh, yes, I believe. In the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, yes I believe. All the Virgin Mary born, do you believe? Yes I believe. By the Spirit, Word made flesh, do you believe? Yes I believe. Suffered then was crucified, do you believe? Yes I believe. And He rose out from the dead, do you believe? Yes I do. You believe? Oh yes I believe. In the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, yes I do. You believe? Oh yes I believe. In the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, yes I believe. He ascended into heaven. Do you believe? Yes I believe. And His kingdom has no end. Do you believe? Yes I believe. In the Spirit I believe. Do you believe? Yes, I believe. Lord and giver of all life. Do you believe? Yes, I believe. Do you believe? Oh, yes, I believe. In the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Yes, I believe. Do you believe? Oh, yes, I believe. In the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. 
yes, I, I believe. believe. With the Father and the Son, and do you believe? Yes, I believe. He's adored and glorified. Do you believe? Yes, I believe. I believe in Holy Church. Do you believe? Yes, I believe. And one baptism profess. Do you believe? Yes, I believe. Do you believe? Oh, yes, I believe. In the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Yes, I believe. You believe. Oh, yes, I believe. In the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Yes, I believe. I shall see Him there in heaven. Do you believe? Yes, I believe. Living in the world to come. Do you believe? Yes, I believe. Do you believe? Oh, yes, I believe. In the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Yes, I believe. Do you believe? Oh, yes, I believe. In the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Yes, I believe. My dear brothers and sisters, let us come to God in humility with faith and trust as we place all our petitions before him. As we pray, our response shall be... of the church, the Holy Father Pope Francis, the College of Bishops and Archbishops, all the clergy and all the evangelizers of this church may be influenced by the power and the spirit of the Holy Spirit to go out to the world for its singular mission of preaching and evangelizing. We pray to the Lord. And so, no, yeah, so, no, For our leadership in the world, our civil authorities, our political leaders, our traditional leaders, that the Holy Spirit will influence them, that every decision they take may be for the common good of the community. We pray to the Lord. For all of us who profess Jesus as Lord, may be pushed, may be filled, may be influenced, may be directed by the power of the Holy Spirit to live lives that is pleasing. In the sight of the Lord, we pray to the Lord. We pray for all youth, the youth of our church, the youth of our country. That in making decisions, they will allow the Holy Spirit to direct them. That the Holy Spirit will influence their footsteps. That all that they do may be the right choices in life. The right decisions they make for their lives and for their future. We pray to the Lord. <laughs> that every action they will take will be the Holy Spirit's power at work, the power of healing, the power of strength, 
that will lead them to taking care of those under the influence and the stress of the COVID-19 pandemic, that they themselves will be strong in their resolute in working for God and staying in good health. We pray to the Lord. We pray for ourselves that all that we do, all that we desire, will be from the influence and the direction of the Holy Spirit. That all that we do will radiate the power of the Holy Spirit. That wherever we go, we will smell the Holy Spirit. Wherever we go, people will feel the presence of the Holy Spirit. In a moment of silence, let us commit our private lives into God's hands and for His direction. petitions, all our prayers, all our desires, all our requests to Jesus Christ who is sitting on his throne in the presence of God our Father. Amen. 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 Oh, 
de Yahvé fui yo Sano, sano, sano Baje a mao Sano, sano, sano Baje a yer wadumo Yahvé son son sano Naya rejembo Sano, sano, sano Baje a Yahvé fui yo Sano, sano, sano Baje a mao Sano, sano, sano Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as promised by your Son, the Holy Spirit may reveal to us more abundantly the hidden mystery of this sacrifice and graciously lead us into all truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 The Lord be with you and, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hands. We lift them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for bringing your Paschal mystery to completion, you bestow the Holy Spirit today on those you made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son, the same, this same Spirit as the Church came to birth, opened to all people the knowledge of God and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of the one faith. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people exalt in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with their angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God, God of hosts. hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather the people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts we are brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said a blessing, broke the bread and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. He said a blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you were to reconcile us yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, 
with St. Josephine Bakita and St. Augustine, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for your unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis our Pope and John Bonaventure our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom, that we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. To the Father, amen. To the Son, amen. To the Spirit, amen. To the Father, Amen. To the Son, Amen. To the Spirit, Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, the evil of COVID-19 pandemic. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your tender mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and uh, ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lamb of God, Lamb of God, you take away, you take away the sin, the sins, the sins of all the world. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God, Lamb of God. You take away, you take away the sin, the sins, the sins of all the Lord. 
behold the Lamb of God. Behold Jesus Christ who takes away the sins of the world. The Father's love who brings us the Holy Spirit, the power of divine love in, unto the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I, I am, am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Beloved in Christ, time for communion. Shall we pray the spiritual communion prayer? Mind Jesus, my mind Jesus, Jesus. I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I believe that, that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, since, since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. Come, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there. I embrace, I embrace you as if you are already there. there. And unite myself wholly to you. And, and unite, unite myself wholly to you. you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Never, Never permit, permit me, me to, to be separated, separated from you. Amen. Amen. Prayer for end to coronavirus outbreak. Almighty to and merciful Father, Father, we show your love to all creation. We come, we come before you asking for a quick control of the coronavirus currently ravaging our world. Hear graciously the prayers we make for those affected by the virus in various parts of the world grant healing to the sick eternal life to the dead and consolation to the weary families we pray that an effective medicine to combat the sickness be speedily found we pray for the relevant governments and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people look upon us in your mercy and forgive us our failings we ask this through our Lord Jesus. Amen. This is 
upon your church safeguard we pray the grace you have given that the gift of the Holy Spirit poured out upon her may retain all its force and that this spiritual food may give her abundance of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord Amen, Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. spirit May the Almighty God bless and keep you the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go forth, serving the Lord in joy and in happiness. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Peru 
Ejunya mi ya da waseda, ya da waseda, ye hen a fairy boy, a fairy boy, Ejunya mi ya da waseda, ya tun tun mo, ye yiwa ye, ye kanfu wo, ye shira wo zinda, ya tun tun mo, ye yiwa ye, ye kanfu wo, ye shira wo zinda. celebration Pentecost Sunday we thank God for your life and we pray that God will continue to keep us safe for all your intentions that we brought to the Lord we trust that the Lord has received them and in his own time he will respond and God's response is always a favorable response we want to wish all of you a happy birthday happy birthday to the church a church which we belong that may God continue to fill us with the Spirit, that His love will flow through us, that all that we do will show that we are truly Christians and are received and are filled with the Holy Spirit. So I want to wish you all the best of the day and all desires that we have may it be granted by God. And so we'll continue to be online from tomorrow, uh, 6.30 a.m. for Holy Mass, until further notice. Uh, the desire is that this evening when the President speaks, some restrictions will be, will be taken away. But let's continue to remind ourselves of the protocols, social distancing, washing of hands, wearing of face masks, and staying at home if it's necessary. So, so let us all try to show love by obeying these regulations so that we all will live in peace and stay safe. Happy Sunday and a blessed Pentecost Sunday to all of you. Peace. Yeah, 
Jehovah turns my life around. He turns my life around. Oh, He makes a way when there is no way. Jehovah, Jehovah turns my life around. He turns my life around. He makes a way when there is no way. Jehovah, who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. Who has the final say? Jehovah, 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 Jehovah has the final say. Jehovah turns my life around. He turns my life around. He makes the way. Ah ah ah, Jehovah. Oh Jehovah turns my life around. It takes my life around. Oh, when there is no way, Jehovah has a final say. One, two, three, four. We lift your name. 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 Shout hallelujah, 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 shout halleluj
So yeah, Jesus, a body in era, Jesus. El chemanina, me casa u yura. In page for Jesus, in by body for Jesus. Me free my crew memo, me casa u yura. Oh, and you will now watch my body. Which I'm making in my name, Uncutana was a aye, in the me hoy, Namao. One, two, three, four, and don't yell me. Why do you not so? Why do you not see? Oh, me so much, and don't yell me, and don't yell me. Be free, my good Give the Lord a praise Give the Lord a praise of shout Hallelujah Hello lovely people My name is Leopold And I'm a proud Catholic To be able to continuously enjoy good teachings Within the Catholic faith Kindly subscribe to Father January's YouTube channel To be able to get more of such teachings Like, share And also click on the reminder bell For more Catholic content, please subscribe to the YouTube channel of St. Paquita Catholic Church and click the bell icon to be notified when the program is live. Adum, 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 Biamenya, Adum, Mayetiasi, Emuna, Yeke, Kayehu. Emuna ye ye ya di na yo e gidi for ya stream mo sem over subscribe into for January YouTube na e ho no na o benya gidi mu insem na na e kra mu kane no enam covid 19 brain you see ah i sorry but i dey amaye no ya be stream mo say ya pese e be jamo we want to carry you along with that kind of faith na e kra mu no into no just subscribe to for January YouTube channel ya da masi There's no better time to be fortunate than what we have right now, where our priests are doing so much to keep you spiritually filled. Subscribe to St. Bakita Catholic Church on YouTube. Click on the subscribe button, click on the bell, and follow us every day. I love watching Father Generis' YouTube channel because it's very educative and he has beautiful content on there. Do subscribe. Thank you. If you want amazing Catholic content, do well to subscribe to the St. Bakita YouTube channel. Thank you.
to enjoy good music, subscribe to Father Generous YouTube channel. Thank you. Hello, can you subscribe to Simba Kita Kali Church YouTube channel? Eshe, na wenye nji, the mabrima, a bit of a bush yazo, our head for the Januaries. Oh, yeah, the YouTube channel. A young man, you know why, bush yazi, which is a book concern, Nayinawa Dumo, Unia, Memphis Ago, Sunday, Yamusum, Okodo.